Small and medium enterprise, referred as SME sector, has emerged as a highly vibrant and dynamic sector of the Indian economy. SMEs play a crucial role in industrialization, wealth creation, employment and skill generation, reducing regional imbalances, assuring more equitable distribution of national income, and ensuring balanced participation of various entities in the national growth. According to the estimates of the Ministry of MSME Government of India, the sector generates around 100 million jobs through over 46 million units by employing close to 40% of India's workforce. SME companies contribute in their unique ways, with more than 6,000 products in this sector contributing around 8% to the GDP, 45% to the total manufacturing output, and about 40% of India's total exports. Indian SMEs generate the largest employment after agriculture. Some features of the SMEs in India are High contribution to domestic production Significant export earnings Low investment capital Operational flexibility Contribution towards development of technology and innovation Competitiveness in domestic and export markets SMEs have been established in almost all major sectors of the Indian economy food processing, agricultural inputs, chemicals and pharmaceuticals, engineering, electronics, electromedical equipment, textiles and garments, leather and leather goods, bioengineering, sports goods, plastics products, computer software and many more. It is quite evident that India is a nation of SMEs which will play a crucial role in positioning the country among the developed nations in times to come. The SMEs which have such an important role in shaping the economic contours of the nation face various difficulties. Let's have a look. The SMEs in India generally lack strong financial backup and therefore capital investment becomes essential for the development of any SME business. SME business may पैसे की availability, finance की availability दो सोर्स से होती है promoter funds and banking funds. Promoter funds बहुत कम होता है main requirement banking fund से ही fulfill होती है लेकिन banking fund की cost आ, बहुत ज़्यादा होती है जब business बहुत अच्छे grow कर रहे होते हैं margins अच्छे होते हैं तो वो bear कर सकते हैं लेकिन जब margins कम होते हैं तो banking fund की cost अपन bear नहीं कर सकते हैं उससे आगे losses होते हैं Most of the technology used by SMEs in India is very old. This puts the SMEs on a disadvantageous position vis-à-vis -vis large enterprises. SME sector is facing the investment problem for the upgradation in technology. SMEs के पास में इतना पैसा नहीं होता कि वो नई technology के अंदर investment कर सके. Indian SMEs are competing with players having a larger capital base and plenty of cash to spend. Also, the lack of access to information is a major challenge faced by the SMEs in India. SME startup operating in food and beverage industry uh, product faces competition with established players having deep cash pockets to spend on branding and expansion, which we cannot counter with our limited funds. Only a strong product offering coupled with visibility of a brand can help us to establish ourselves. Larger financial institutes are not too keen on lending to SMEs in India due to their internal lending parameters. Lack of adequate collateral translates into inadequate funds, which lead to a lower growth rate. As any other new business, our business don't have an existence of, you know, track record of performance and existence. Conventional institutions, financial institutions, does not, uh, does not want to lend to us. Even if they want to assist us, but it is very difficult for us to manage the tangible assets or collaterals as per their requirements. The lack of professional talent and trainings restrict the development of human resources in Indian SMEs. The different problems as faced by SMEs have found solution in the dynamic and robust SME listing platform, established on the initiative of the Government of India and the SEBI, with the objective of providing a listing opportunity to SME companies and access to a platform for raising additional capital. Let's have a look into the growth and journey of the SME platform of BSE Limited. Established in the year 2012, this platform has grown by leaps and bounds and has created history 
by crossing the century mark in just three years of coming into existence. The listed companies on this platform have made a paradigm shift from regional address to international platform of BSE. SME segment was uh, started under the insistence of uh, Security and Action Board of India and the Government of India, saying that the small and medium sector enterprises also have a legitimate need to raise funds from the public markets. Companies from various geographies of India have marked their presence on this exchange. This platform has witnessed companies from various sectors such as agriculture, telecom, apparels, media, information technology, real estate, metals, gems and jewelry, packaging, healthcare and so on. Why such a phenomenal growth? Because India is the nation of SMEs. In last three years, BSA SME platform has created a lot of awareness about this platform across the country, across the various sectors of the SME companies. And we have been able to bring more than 100 companies on this BSC SME platform. Let's take an insight tour on how listing of an SME enterprise can solve different problems as perceived to be inherent problems of Indian SMEs. By virtue of listing, the SMEs create dynamic valuation parameters in terms of market capitalization, which maps the growth in their profits and hence, these companies grow faster in comparison with the growth in their net worth and book value. Listing creates visibility and raises the company above unlisted peers. This visibility coupled with credibility attracts business to the company. Listing on BSC SME platform has created credibility and financial strength of our company. This has enhanced our reputation in market. When we listed company, we have platform to list the market of 80 crore. Ka market ke Aaj more than 500 crore ka market. Ke hai, andar mutual fund, institute, high net worth, HNI, jinka ek अच्छा ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड है कंपनी को साथ जुड़ने में और लंबा रहने में ऐसे अच्छे से लोगों का इन्वॉल्वमेंट हमारे कंपनी के हित में रहा है लिस्टिंग हैज द पोटेंशियल टू अनलॉक द वैल्यू ऑफ द शेयर सर्टिफिकेट्स लाइंग डॉमेंट व्हिच मे फर्दर एक्ट एज कोलैटरल एसेट्स इन बैंकिंग अरेंजमेंट्स लिस्टिंग आल्सो सर्व्स एज अ पोटेंशियल टूल टू अट्रैक्ट एंड रिटेन कॉम्पिटेंट ह्यूमन टैलेंट अट्रैक्टिंग एंड रिटेनिंग क्वालिटी ह्यूमन टैलेंट एक्ट्स एज असिस्टेंस टू ग्रोथ ऑफ अ कंपनी Listing on BSC SME platform, I think, gives us an edge over our competitors, not only in terms of acquiring new talent, but also retaining the existing talent within the company. We have been using employee stock option as an employee engagement tool to retain the talent within the organization. An unlisted company relies on limited resource of promoter funding and bank borrowings for their funds. Listing of a company on SME opens up new horizons. Uh, listing has definitely opened up a lot of opportunities for us. As a developer, whenever we wanted funds earlier, we had only two options, either to go for a promoter funding or ask the CF from different, different banks. After funding, we have been able to raise a lot of funds from NCD route. Recently, we have raised 60 crore by issuing NCD to Reliance and uh, this has immensely helped us. Is the listing process complex? The truth? Listing on SME is very simple and takes one-fourth of the time of a main board IPO. Hence, your company debuts on the exchange in a short time. We were hesitant to take the decision to list because we thought that the process is very landy and cumbersome. But uh, after taking the decision of list, it took only two and a half months to complete the, all the formatting and all the, pro all the procedure. Uh, under the guidance of our merchant banker and all the agencies, intermediate agencies have helped us a lot. Considering the size of such companies, sometimes we observe that there are certain compliances which are outstanding. As part of the process of due diligence, we, with the assistance of merchant bankers, ensure that the companies are fully compliant with the applicable laws applicable to them. Industry. SME listing gives a major thrust for moving to the next league, cutting the masses and positioning on the platform, which is visible and tracked by investors at large. Post our migration to the main board of Nationwide Stock Exchange, we are also eligible of, uh, for listing of our shares on another stock exchange of India. We are also thinking on this 
process. Within a period of two years, our company is on the path of being listed on both stock exchanges. So far, there has only been debt financing options without any access to alternative equity market for SMEs. However, with launch of SME exchange in India, opportunity has been created for every single CA firm to offer value-based advisory to SME entrepreneurs. A strong investor base will help gain a much wider participation of potential stakeholders and investors. And we are delighted that uh, 100 companies in a very short span of uh, three years have uh, listed on this segment. And these companies have uh, got huge benefits post-listing because they have got uh, more uh, respect from the their peers and also from the bankers and other uh, even their vendors and suppliers and so on and so forth. SME listing. A simple yet powerful idea whose time has come. Rise up. Rise up to the next league.